This is the Celtic Tarot from Los Carabeo. And it always, Los Carabeo always has the little books that come with the decks in different languages. Uh, German, French, Italian, Spanish, and English, I believe. And then since this follows Celtic mythology or Irish mythology, um, it's helpful to have some knowledge of the names, as all the names on the major arcana are names that come from the, the Celtic myths. And then this deck, um, it does follow Rider Waite. Some cards are kind of different, but um, for the most part, a lot of cards are similar to Rider Waite. So going back to the Irish names, for example, Morrigan is the Empress. And then with this deck, um, Justice is number eight instead of Strength. So basically Justice and Strength are interchanged in this deck. Um, in reference to Rider Waite, if we use Rider Waite as a base. So, and then also in this deck, they decided to do wands as the air element. And then swords, actually, as we'll see a little bit later, as the fire element. Even though the representations are essentially the same as the regular Rider Waite, two of wands being fire, in this deck, it's actually referring to air element which can be, um, you know, kind of tricky energetically wise. However, the depictions, this follows Rider Waite, you know, the Six of Wands, the card of success, for example, follows Rider Waite is, uh, with the fire element, representing fire essentially. I'm not sure why they decided to switch it using this as air and using swords as fire. Pentacles remains earth. You can see a lot of the cards are pretty much similar to the classical depictions in the Rider Waite. And then here's our swords, which in this deck they, they're using as fire element, even though the depictions are still similar to what Rider Waite would be using swords as air.
And then cups uh, is always water element in this deck as well. And then this is the backing. So that's the Celtic tarot from Los Carabellos.